if we know anything about Berkshire Hathaway's CEO and chairman, Warren Buffett, it is that he is a genius at investing. Buffett is the fifth richest person in the world while making substantial charitable contributions, and there is much to be learnt from him. Following the value investing tenets, Warren Buffett buys undervalued businesses and holds onto them for the long haul. Thanks to their investment ideas, he and his company have been able to get through inflationary and economic downturnary periods with amazing ease. Buffett has a set of rules for picking the finest companies to invest in in addition to sticking to the value investing philosophy. Buffett is skilled at making money on his stock investments. If you follow his advice, you could also be able to. Despite having a spotless career on the stock market, Buffett has periodically experienced financial difficulties. Buffett experienced a personal loss of 23 billion US dollars during the same time that his company's profits dropped by 62%. The lessons you should learn from Buffett's experiences are that choosing the proper companies to invest in eventually requires to taking measured risks. The ideal course of action would be for you to conduct in-depth research on the stock you wish to invest in and exercise good judgment while making purchases. Hopefully you'll be on the right track to become the next successful investing mogul in the world. This has not been easy for investors and many people are concerned that a recession may be approaching. Nobody can say for sure whether or not a recession will occur. But because economic recessions and market falls typically coincide, stock values can keep falling. Let's break down these guidelines and examine how we might utilize them to inform our financial decisions. The first rule is to never lose money. Rule 2 is to never forget Rule 1. This is the first and most important investment principle according to Buffett. This guideline focuses more on an investor's mindset than it does on market fluctuations. Loss is something that even Warren Buffett can endure but it doesn't mean you couldn't. However, he is more adept at living on a budget than most. He has lived in the same house since 1958, and he regularly eats breakfast at McDonald's. His lavish spending patterns serve as a warning to business people and those who want to invest like him. To get affluent and preserve it, like Warren Buffett, we must use financial restraint. You should never invest in companies you don't understand. Buffett is cautious about investing in projects he doesn't completely understand when it comes to cryptocurrency. He has gone too far, even admitting, I get in enough difficulty with what I think I know something about. Why should I take a long or short position in something that I don't fully understand? By choosing companies and products they are knowledgeable about, he recommends investors to concentrate on protecting their money using this rule. Even while certain companies or projects might seem to be very profitable, it is not a good idea to invest in them if you don't fully comprehend what they want to accomplish. Forever is our preferred holding time. Buffett is known for picking out well-rounded companies and sticking with them for a very long time. For example, Berkshire Hathaway has kept its stakes in Coca-Cola for 34 years. Coca stock Cola's delivered returns for Buffett's company of 5,810% once reinvested dividends were taken into account, highlighting the immense value of hanging onto the stock. Given Buffett's success with this strategy, it makes sense why he advises others to adopt it. If you aren't willing to hold onto a stock for 10 years, he advises, don't even consider holding onto it for 10 minutes. Avoid investing with borrowed funds. Buffett urges people to only enter the realm of investing if they have the requisite cash. He contends that it is unwise to put everything you have and need at risk for something you do not. There may be times when a stock is performing so well that taking out a loan to invest in it seems like the best option. It would be beneficial if you remembered that investing in stocks is always risky. Even though a stock is doing well right now, if you buy it with borrowed money, its value can fall and you might end up in debt. Additionally, you buy stocks with borrowed money. In that situation, paying off the debt will take precedence over creating a long-term strategy to optimize returns, which runs counter to the previous rule. Be greedy when others are scared and fearful when others are greedy. The last piece of advice from Buffett is to avoid following the herd while investing. To be a successful investor, you must rely on your understanding of the market. Buffett is trying to say that when many investors have positive ideas about a particular stock, the price will climb. If you bought such a stock, you would overpay for it and not get equivalent returns. This raises the subject of value investing, which entails selecting stocks that have a high intrinsic value but are currently trading at a discount. It's important to keep in mind that you shouldn't make an effort to stand out. Instead, you should trust your gut and avoid copying what others do. It can be stressful to buy stocks in a volatile market. 
If you invest today and stock prices fall, it is unsettling since your portfolio could lose value right away. The market's long-term success, however, is considerably more important than its short-term ups and downs. Additionally, historically, it has a perfect track record of recovering from economic and financial disasters. It may be challenging to maintain a long-term perspective during a recession, but things will get better. The market is probably going to make money over the long run, regardless of what happens in the future weeks or months. Buffett said in a Times article, a straightforward guideline governs my purchasing. Be greedy when others are scared and fearful when others are greedy. Given the continued decline in stock prices, this is the time to become greedy. Several stocks are trading for lower prices than they have in recent years, and the market is essentially on sale. If you've been waiting for a better opportunity to buy, now might be the time. For instance, since its peak, Amazon has dropped more than 51%. When economic fears triggered a 60% decline, it last went through a similar decline. Right now, investing in this pricey stock might be a once-in-a-decade chance. Now is a smart time to stock up on excellent companies at a discount. Additionally, doing so can set you up for significant gains when the market eventually recovers. There are, of course, no guarantees that you will reach this stage of development, but solid company stocks have a much higher chance of recovering from a slump, so by investing now, you'll be in a fantastic position to profit from the comeback. It makes sense that you have some concerns because investing is only seldom straightforward when the market is decreasing. However, downturns could be fantastic moments to gain money if you make sensible investments and stick with it through the market's recovery. In accordance with Buffett's Times article, the stock market's immediate changes are not something I can forecast. However, it is more likely that the market will rise, maybe significantly, before either mood or the economy improve. So spring will be over if you wait for the robins.